Hi guys, my name is Gwen. Um, I'm gonna be making biscuits today. Um, the recipe I'm using is really easy and simple, um, and it'll create a really great side for any meal. So let's get started. Um, I'll make sure you the ingredients that we're working with. So here in front of me, um, I've measured out three cups of flour and then a cup of cold uh, whole milk. And then we're using um, room temperature butter, um, as well as baking powder, sugar, and then a little bit of salt over there. So I preheated my oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and so now I'm going to get started with the rest of the stuff. Um, the first thing that's going to happen is the three cups of flour um, and all the other dry ingredients will be mixed together. So that was three cups of flour, and then you want a tablespoon of baking powder. And then um, a tablespoon of the sugar as well. And then um, about a teaspoon of, of salt will go in. So then this just gets all mixed up together until it's just thoroughly um, combined. So here in the bowl I have the dry ingredients, um, so the flour, white sugar, baking powder, and salt, and that's all been whisked together. And so to that I'm going to add six tablespoons of room temperature butter. Um, I'm just going to cut it up so it's a little easier to add in. And then just using my fingers, I'm just gonna work the butter into the flour until it becomes like a nice uh, even and crumbly texture. So this is how the dough is looking right now. Um, it's just all the dry stuff in the butter and it just has a nice crumbly texture to it. So then to this, um, I'm gonna add a cup of the cold whole milk to it, just pouring it evenly um, across. And then again with my fingers, like this might be a little messier, but I'm just going to get in there um, and mix it all together to create that dough that we're looking for. It's going to be a little sticky, but the more you work with it and incorporate the flour into everything, um, the easier it'll be to, to work with. Okay. So this is how the dough is looking right now. Um, it's come all together and it's not, um, it doesn't have any like loose flour around it and it's not too wet. Um, it is still a little sticky, but um, I'm going to dump it out onto a lightly floured work surface and then we're gonna start forming the biscuits. So to start, I'm just gonna pat it until it's about um, three quarters of an inch thick and like in a rectangle shape. And then I'm going to take this rectangle and then fold it um, like, like a letter into thirds. So one goes here, and then you're gonna fold that over as well. And then once again, I'm just gonna pat it down until it's a um, three quarter inch thick rectangle. That looks pretty good to me. And then now I'm just gonna cut um, this rectangle into the biscuits. Um, so I guess from here I could probably make about 12, so I'm just going to cut it uh, 4 by 3 instead. So my biscuits are all cut. Um, I'm going to place them on the pan. That's um, You can either line it with parchment paper or a silicone pad. Um, these are gonna get put into the oven for about 15 minutes, 15 to 20. Um, my oven runs a little hot, so I'll probably check them around the 15 minute mark just to make sure um, they're not getting overdone. So yeah, I will see you in 15 minutes. In about 15 minutes, um, I'm gonna check the oven now to see if the biscuits are done. And they look pretty good. All right. So 
They're probably a little paler. They have a little bit of golden starting to form in the top. So I'm just gonna take these out and let them cool. I think they came out pretty okay. You know, they have some good rise to them and um, I think they're gonna taste delicious. Well, while they're cooling, I just wanna take a look inside of one of them. Um, you can see it has a, it's still really steamy, but yeah, they're cooked through and you know, it is great. <laughs> Um, you can enjoy these with just like, you know, some butter or whatever you want on your biscuits, 